August 26th. On this day we celebrate the meeting of the icon of the Mother of God of Vladimir. In all probability, the icon of the Mother of God of Vladimir was painted in Constantinople. In the 12th century, Patriarch Luke Chrysobogy sent it to Kiev to the great prince Yuri Dolgoroki. The icon was kept in the convent at Vishgorod, whence the holy prince Andrew of Bogolubovo brought it to Vladimir. The icon is one of the most venerated in Russia, having been carried by princes in military campaigns, prayed before by rulers for the welfare of the people, and flocked to by the faithful of all walks of life. At the election of metropolitans and patriarchs, the names of the candidates were placed before this holy icon, and after prayer the lot was chosen. The holy patriarch Tikhon the Confessor was elected in this way. The icon is also celebrated on the 23rd of June and on May 21st. Blessed is our Lord, known for above the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O comforter of the spirit of truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We receive the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Today the most glorious city of Moscow rejoices radiantly, for it receives as a ray of the sun thy wonder-working icon, O Lady, and as we now have recourse thereto, we pray to thee and cry, O most wonderful Lady Theotokos, pray to Christ our God who was incarnate of thee, that this city and all Christian cities and countries be kept unharmed from the assaults of the enemy, and that our souls be saved, for he is merciful. I shall open my mouth, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and word shall I now put forth unto the Mother and Queen, and I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Mistress, illumine our souls with divine radiance, with thy grace which passes understanding, and grant me the bountiful gift to him, thee as a helper of human nature. O all him, do unfaithful ally against all heresies for our pious orthodox hierarchs. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Come, you, let us gather together, O you assemblies of Russia and the whole world, 
world in the all-honorable temple of the Most Immaculate Mistress, let us chant with compunction, praying before the precious image, and crying aloud, O Theotokos, who news not word look, save those who praise Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The most godly look, the divinely eloquent recorder of the glad tidings of Christ, in painting Thy most precious image, O Mother of God, depicted the Creator of all in Thine honored arms, and those who have recourse thereto, thou deliverest from perils and grief, and covers all with thy mercy. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Creator of all, finding thee alone to be an all comely temple, made his abode within thee, and has deified man. Pray thou to him for us, O Theotokos, that he save us from capture by the heathen and from every other tribulation which assails us, that with all honor we may celebrate the meeting of thine image today. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never failing spring, all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name, and by thy grace divine, O maid, deem them all worthy of glory's crowns. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Putting aside all earthly thought of you, divinely wise, come you to greet the all comely beam who holds the all luminous ray, who enlightens and enriches the whole world with mercy. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Having acquired thy most precious and wonder working icon as a mighty ally and an impregnable rampart, O Mother of God, the princes of Russia pray to thee that thou Thou grant victory over all heresies to all pious orthodox hierarchs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast been shown to be a radiant cloud, washing clean the defilements of our bodies with the dew of grace, and enlightening our souls, O Thou who alone art most Him. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast been revealed as a most fruitful tree, delighting all with food with perishes not, and gladdening man's souls, O pure bride of God, pour forth goodly gifts upon all, and save us from violent tribulations. O you God-loving people, come to greet the Virgin, for lo, she who surpasses all the prophets doth arrive, Bearing in the arms of her precious image him who bestows life upon the world, that she might preserve her suffering city, cast down by the boldness of the barbarians, and show herself to be the steadfast guardian of all who entreat her might and protection with faith. When the prophet Abacom, O thou most high, learned of the divine and untraceable counsel of thy pure incarnation from the womb of the blessed virgin, he cried out, Glory to thy power, O Lord my God. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. The true and radiant sun has shone forth the old great mountain from whence came the stone that was not cut by the hand of man, which has crushed all temptations to dust and illumined the faithful, shedding light in a rays of ever-virgin Theotokos. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. The children of Hagar armed themselves against thy people, O pure Theotokos, taking evil counsel, raising cities and destroying destroying the faithful. Yet do thou annihilate them all by thy mercy, O most hymned one, granting ascendancy to the orthodox faith over their false religion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mother of God, thou animate heaven, who receives the great light illumining all, dispel the darkness of the misfortunes which have beset us, and vouchsafe unto us communion with the Most High. Both now and ever and unto 
unto the ages of ages. Amen. David danced before the ark, and the Levites chanted hymns, and all the Modas, Russia, and all the Orthodox world sing praises before the Esquina of Yothotokos, earnestly giving utterance to thee with voices of entreaty. Rejoice, O ally of our cities. All things are filled with awe at thy divine glory. For thou, a virgin, who hast not known wedlock, didst contain within thy womb him who is God over all, and gavest birth to the timeless Son, granting peace unto all who him thee. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Thee, O Mother of God, did Isaiah, great among the prophets, behold in the Spirit as containing within thy womb the burning amber, who illumines the faithful and utterly consumes all temptations, saving the human race. Most holy Mother of God, save us. Thou didst put forth the rod of Aaron and hast uprooted the root of evil, O Virgin Bride of God, having given birth for the world unto the Bestower of life, him do you beseech that our cities be saved from manifold perils. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With gladness approach you now, the most honored Mother of God, O divinely chosen flock, you assemblies of the Orthodox Church, and lovingly receive her precious image. For lo, her grace is inexhaustible, pouring forth divine waters in abundance. Her do we honour, and we bow down before her precious image. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. From the root of Jesse, the tree of life has grown forth for all, and thou didst produce its fruit in thy womb, O pure virgin, nurturing all men with thy mercy. On this divine and all-honoured feast of God's our Holy Mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory to the God whom she has born. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. From thee, O Mother of God, has a torrent of sweetness issued forth, giving drink to all men and washing their souls clean of defilement. O Mistress Theotokos, save all who with faith bow down before thy precious image. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Having assembled together, let us all hymn the pure Virgin, the divinely chosen maiden of Jacob, the fleece of Gideon, the mediatress of joy, the might and boast of those who are saved, the pure Theotokos. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Behold, gladness now. Now draws nigh, and sorrow is destroyed. The faithful are saved, drawing forth joys from a wellspring, and they chant continually in praise. Rejoice, O pure mistress, thou inception of our salvation, bulwark and boast of all the faithful. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By thine entreaties, grant us your aid, O all pure Theotokos, for sorrows descend upon us. Griefs have multiplied, and the enemy array themselves against us. Yet interceding, O pure one, deliver us, cast down the arrogance of our foes, and grant us victory over our enemies, that all who do evil to thy servants may be put to shame. As once delivered from evils, by the arrival of thy precious image, O Mistress Theotokos, we splendidly chant hymns of victory to thee, the chosen leader. On the feast of thy meeting, and we cry to thee, Rejoice, O Bride, unwedded. An angelic messenger was sent from heaven to say to the Theotokos, Rejoice with the incorporeal voice, O Lord. And perceiving the incarnate, he was filled with awe and stood, crying out to her such things as these. Rejoice, thou through whom joy has shone forth. Rejoice, thou who didst annul the curse. Rejoice, restoration of fallen Adam. Rejoice, deliverance of Eve from tears. 
Rejoice, height not easily scaled by the thoughts of men. Rejoice, depth not easily plumbed even by the eyes of angels. Rejoice, for thou art the throne of the king. Rejoice, for thou bearest him who bearest all things. Rejoice, thou star who revealest the sun. Rejoice, womb of the incarnation of God. Rejoice, thou through whom creation has been restored. Rejoice, thou by whom through the creator is worshipped. Rejoice, O bride unwedded. Rejoice, O bride unwedded. No created thing but only the creator with the godly minded youths adore and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O supremely praised and all acclaimed one, blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Arrayed by thee as in purple and fine linen, dyed scarlet, O Mistress Virgin Theotokos, your city magnifies Christ and glorifies the arrival of thy precious image, which has appeared outshining the rays of the sun and illumining with light and dimmed those who sing aloud thy praises. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. The tablets divinely inscribed by the finger of the Spirit did Moses break in anger. Yet the all-glorious Creator who made his abode within thee, O pure one, preserved thee unharmed. To thee do we chant, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Accept the entreaties of thy servants, O all-pure virgin Theotokos. By thy supplication, steal thou the restless tempest, and drive away the counsels of the adverse foe, who fall upon thy flock, O most immaculate mystery. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By his nativity, the creator of all, signified that thou alone art the helper of the human race, O Theotokos Mary, and the prophet prefigured thee, one as a gate, another as the bow of God, and we him thee as the mother of God, our mediatress before God, our ally against all the evils which assail us. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed, and he has gathered all the world, which cries out in chant, Him you the Lord, and exalt him supremely for all ages. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. How can we him the as his meet, O Virgin, our steadfast help, the preserver of our life, our sure mediatress before thy Son and our God? Him do we him and exalt supremely forever. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Mary Theotokos, thou all comely flower, each fragrance thou fills all with sweet savour. Thou saves and delivers from infirmities and dispels the demons wherefore we cry out to thee rejoice O helper of all the faithful who pray to thee we bless father son and holy spirit the lord thou hast shown thyself to be a tower repelling the assaults of the adversary O mother of god but thou hast been revealed as the bulwark and a rampart a refuge of salvation for all who honor thee with ardent hearts both now and ever and unto the ages of ages Amen. Love like David, we chant a hymn to thee, calling thee the mountain of God, the all-pure virgin. For thou hast poured forth upon us the ever-flowing wellspring. Him do we him and exalt supremely forever. Let every earth-born man upleap in the spirit and now hold his torch on high. And let all the bodiless Nordicos now celebrate joyously the Theotokos, the sublime and sacred festival, as they cry out. Rejoice, O thou, our blessed one, ever virgin and pure mother of our God. Most holy mother of God, save us. O a pure Theotokos, mediatress of joy, glad in thou, o minds, that we may cry to thee, rejoice, O our guardian, our might and protection, our refuge of salvation. Most holy mother of God, save us. Let heaven and earth praise thee together in that thou gavest birth to the bestower of life for the world. Rejoice, O tranquil haven, thou inexhaustible wellspring of the water of life, O me. 
Maestro. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, you people, having assembled today to greet the all pure Mother of God, who bore the fruit of the noetic vine, whoever exudes the wine which fills all with gladness, let us all glorify the Theotokos as is me. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, Mother of God, thou divine river of the waters of life, who waters all valleys, drown thou our temptations and destroy them utterly. Let the Mother of God be honored today, who gave birth to the Creator, the opening of the gates of paradise, and the purification of the whole world, who grants victory to a Christ-loving orthodox hierarchs over all heresies, for of her did the prophet speak, and to her do we bow down. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, we who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, whose holy icon known as the icon of Vladimir, we celebrate this day. And the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy love, giving cross and all the bodiless powers of heaven. And the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Ninian and Cuthbert the Bishops of God, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Adrian and Natalie, with the prayers of them who contested with St. Adrian and were perfected in martyrdom by the sword, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Atticus and Sicinius, with the prayers of our righteous father Ebistian of Egypt, with the prayers of another martyr, Adrian, who, after reproving the emperor Licinius to his face, was to tormented and beheaded. With the prayers of our righteous father Joseph, the prince of India, he has instructed the righteous Valaam and his father, Abner the king. With the prayers of our righteous father Dithoes of Egypt, who reposed in peace. With the prayers of our righteous father Adrian Androsovsky, with the prayers of the blessed Cyprian of Storoshka, the former outlaw. With the prayers of our righteous father Adrian of Pasha the recovery of whose holy relics we also celebrate this day. With the prayers of St. Padwina of Attisley and St. Bragwin of Canterbury and those with them whose memory we celebrate. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, you are Kim and Dana and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. For the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.